In this video, we're going to discuss the math class methods. So beyond basic arithmetic, some programs require more complex math operations, and the math class has many methods that you can call to do just that. And we can refer to the Java API, the application programming interface, for a full list of all the math methods. So you can go to the URL on the bottom of the screen and see what's there and see what options we have when we're doing math in Java. So let's take a look at the math class API. This is the math application programming interface. This is official Oracle documentation on how to use the class called math. And the math has a lot of information describing what it is at the top of the, of the page. And if you scroll down, you could see that it has a couple fields. One of them is pi. So if you ever needed the value of pi, you could just say math with a capital M dot pi, and it'll get you the value of what pi is so you can use it in calculations. There's also a field called E when you're dealing with the base of natural logarithms. Let's take a look at the method summary for the math class and you can see that there are a ton of methods in this list and they're all alphabetical starting with abs for absolute value and you can see there are several different options for using the abs method where you can pass in a double, a float, an int, or a long to get the absolute value of that number. That means that those methods are overloaded by the way, we'll talk more about that in a different video. You can scroll down. We can see that there's arc cosine, arc sine, arc tangent methods, ceiling. I mean, there's a lot of methods. I'm not going to go through the entire list, but we could look at a couple commonly used ones. For example, scroll down. There's a random one to get a random number between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. That could be useful. There is a SQRT. It looks like it says squirt, but it's the square root method where you can pass in any double and it'll give you the square root the rounded positive square root of that value there's a trigonometric tangent of an angle method if you ever need that and you can see that you don't have to reinvent the wheel and create any of these methods yourself you could just see what's available and use them for example the Powell method basically it takes two parameters a and b both double and it'll just give you the first number raised to the power of the second number and return that value. Let's take a look at how the math methods work. So let's say you wanted to get the 3 to the fourth power. So you could do that by simply saying double answer and set that to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's 3 to the fourth power. So let's print that out. And that gives you 81. I mean, that's a lot of work just to get 3 to the 4th power. What if you need 3 to the 100th power? Are you going to type 3 times 3 times 3 100 times? No, you're not going to do that. But what you could do instead is replace all this with math dot. Then as soon as you type the dot after typing capital math, you get a list of all the methods that we saw on the Java API. So you can scroll down and see all the options that you have for the math class. And one of them was the power. You remember that one for getting the power of one number to the other? If you can't find it in there, you could just start typing and it does like an autocomplete and it finds there's power. Press enter and type two numbers. The first one comma to the power of the second one. So 3 comma 4 will give you 3 to the fourth power. And that gives you 81 again. So it's the same thing. It's a little bit easier and you don't have to write any kind of code to do any of this math yourself. Let's try a different one. Double answer 2 is math times square root. Let's try the square root method of 25. Now let's print out answer 2 and see what that is. Answer 2 and that should give us 5. And there is 5.0. So these are some very basic math methods. Also if you remember there was a constant for the variable pi. Let's just print that out and see how that works. System that out that print line math.pi. It's a constant field and you can just simply grab the value of pi and display it to your screen 
or use it in any calculation by just simply saying math.py. And because these math methods are so commonly used, you don't even have to import anything in your code to use them. There's no import statements at the top. You can just start using them directly to do any kind of mathematical things that you want in your program.